everyone. It is still Elvis week here at Cooking with a Kid, and to celebrate that, we are going to make the meatloaf that Miss Mary Jenkins made for Elvis. Now, how are we going to do that? We're going to do that courtesy of the postcard that our old pal Jordan Alliance sent to us from Graceland. And uh, on the front of this card, there's actually the meatloaf, and it's certified on the back that this is the one that she made. So basically the ingredients, we're going to walk through them, we're going to put it together. We're just celebrating Elvis, we're celebrating the food Elvis liked, and hopefully you'll get some enjoyment out of this. I'll bring you right back. We'll begin cooking Elvis's meatloaf, courtesy of Miss Mary Jenkins. Okay, so I took off the gold sunglasses and the sideburns. I'm sure Elvis would be okay with that. So this is a very simple meatloaf. And I'm going to cook it the way the very simple instructions tell me to. And one of the things that it says is to preheat an oven to 350, so I've done that. Um, I do have a video of smoked meatloaf on my channel, if you'd like to go back and look at that. But I'm going to follow the instructions. So first thing it says, and I'll zoom you into the bowl. What we're going to need is ground beef, three eggs, bell pepper, onion, crushed crackers, three cloves of garlic, and a can of tomato sauce, eight ounce can. So we're going to put it together and I'll put you over my shoulder and you can see me do it right now. Okay, so we have our ground beef, ground chuck here in the bowl. It says we're to add uh, all of these ingredients together, so I'll do them a little bit at a time. First of all, it says we're to add three eggs, a cup of onion, chopped, a cup of bell pepper, three cloves of garlic, four ounces of crushed crackers, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. So I'm gonna mix all that together using my hands and I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, I have it all mixed together and combined in this bowl. And so what I'm gonna use is this metal baking pan. I'm gonna squeeze it into this pan. It has this removable bottom, so you can take it out after it's done. And it says right before it's done, we're to combine two more of the eight ounce cans of tomato sauce. And we're also to add about a half cup ketchup and pour that over the top right before it finishes. So the oven is preheated to 350. I'm going to put this in the pan and I'll show you it going in the oven. As you can see, all of it is in the pan. You didn't think it was going to fit, did you? Neither did I, but it did. Good thing about this meatloaf pan, uh, kind of unique. It has a false bottom in that little tray that holds the meatloaf so the grease can drain away, drains down into the bottom. So as it cooks, it's going to shrink. When it does, it'll give us more room for the topping. Uh, and then uh, I'll bring you back and show you. Uh, in a little, it doesn't give a time, so we'll cook it until it's done, and I'll bring you back. Okay, everybody, it is just about done. I'm going to top it. It says just before it's done, top it with the uh, ingredients I'm about to show you. Let it, we'll let it go about another five minutes, and then we'll take it out. Okay, it says I'm to add two 8-ounce cans of tomato sauce. and half a cup of ketchup. I'm going to mix that together and I'm going to pour it over the top of the meatloaf and let it go for about another five minutes. And when that's done, I'll bring it out and show you the final product. I've got the topping on it. Didn't quite take all of it, but got the topping on it. I'm going to let it Go back in there and firm up, and then we'll take it out. There you go. There's some on a plate with some mashed potatoes and green beans. That is definitely 
comfort food. Couldn't eat it every day, but he did for six months at a time. Okay, everybody, thanks again for watching Cooking with a Kid Elvis Week. And I uh, hope that this was something you found interesting. Very simple meatloaf, but sure looks good. It's not dry, it's moist, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, tomorrow night we have a very special guest on a live stream at 7 o'clock on this channel, so you join us. Until then, we'll see you later. Goodbye.